we've got a treat for you coming up here. Uh, I picked up this book at the Mississippi Book Festival this year. I am fascinated with Gulf Coast artist Walter Anderson, and this is a compilation of some of Anderson's accounts of his extended bicycle trips put together by his son, John Anderson. Now, I've got a couple of clips with uh, Walter Anderson's son, John, about the relationship that he had with his father. Uh, you know, Walter Anderson was uh, eccentric. He was completely underestimated during his lifetime. I consider that to be the case anyway. So here is his son, John Anderson, about coming to realize who his father really was. We didn't treat Daddy very well. Um, none of us did, as far as I could see. I know I didn't. Uh, we were embarrassed by him. He was, um, you know, he rode around town um, in paint spattered clothes on a rusty old bicycle, tipping his hat to people as he went past. Uh, he was archaic. Um, and he was kind of looked upon as the town fool. Uh, he, you know, he was somebody that children might throw rocks at. And um, if we were with a group of our friends by a loveless drugstore and we heard the creak of his bicycle, we would probably uh, turn our, ourselves strategically so we could pretend not to notice him and not have to acknowledge that he was uh, our father. Uh, now, of course, we're very proud that he's our father, but uh, the people who discovered him through his art um, came back to us and started telling us how wonderful he was. At first, we probably thought that they were crazy, but then we began to get to know some of those people, and they were so extraordinary. And on any given day, these extraordinary people would show up. The, the car that turned into our gate might contain um, Eudora Welty or William Faulkner or Tennessee Williams or Hemingway or um, Marie Ho or anyone. I ran into John Anderson at the book fair in Jackson recently and I asked him what he learned about his dad from writing the bicycle log book. He said he learned that his dad loved life. But John added he continues to discover about his dad, Walter Anderson, all the time. Most of what I've learned about Daddy, I've actually learned from other people. Um, they come to me and they tell me what he meant to them. And when they tell me what he meant to them, he means more to me. <laughs> you, you tell me that he loved life so much, you almost sound surprised by that. Is this in comparison to the way people are living their lives mostly now? Absolutely. Absolutely. What do we need to do? You have hit your, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, and it's not that hard. You know, it's, it's all about a change in perception. Most people look at nature, and Daddy looked. Do you find it difficult or not difficult to live the life of John Anderson, or are you more the son of Walter Anderson? Um, I'm definitely the son of Walter Anderson. It's, uh, I think on my tombstone it will probably say the son of Walter Anderson. <laughs> um, but he was such a phenomenal person, and I don't, I don't mind that at all. Um, he... I'm awed by him. You know, I'm inspired and awed by him. I can't comprehend how much he accomplished. And particularly, I know the conditions under which he accomplished it. And um, under those conditions, I cannot believe how much he accomplished.